The Greatest Book in the World by Matt Porter, illustrated by Dave Etz, by Rudolf Wordsmith. The Greatest Book in the World. Welcome, welcome, I'm Rudolf Wurtsmith, a soon-to-be famous writer. I need a teensy bit of help with this book. It's called The Greatest Book in the World. All best books are rhymes, but strangely, I'm rather poor at them. I know, how about you finish the rhymes for me? Splendid, what a team, here we go. Strolling to the toy shop, hey, there's Gran and Mum. Neither of them sees me till I stick out my thumb. I beg your pardon because you said bum. The illustrator has drawn me flashing my behind and mother and grandmama, thanks a lot. Please consider your rhymes more carefully. Mum says, oh, Mom says, no you don't, my boy, and takes my money box. Gran says, time to think about pulling up your socks. Excuse me, we are creating the greatest book in the world. Such a book would never mention the main character's underwear. Please try to be serious. Mom looks pretty angry, but Gran has usual snickers. I'm off by say, calm down, okay, before you blow your... Tickers! It's one thing to mention my underwear, and now you're talking about mother and grandmamas. You know what? That's not acceptable. Ever. Cutting through the gardens, feeling quite subdued, flowers sometimes cheer me up when I'm in the mood. Well, you think you're funny, don't you? Well, you're not. You're being rude, very rude. And you're ruining my book. Sneaking through the bushes, thinking about my woes. It's quiet here with no one around. Time to pick my rose. Well, I never, I don't pick my nose. Thank you, but I wish I'd pick someone else to finish my rhymes. Smart enough. Some tourists wander closer. Where can I hide that tree? I'm naked as a baby and I really need to flee. Why don't you make your own book? You can call it the rudest book in the world. I linger at the fish pond, feeling much more mellow, but the water doesn't look right. I'm sure it's way too shallow. Oh my, who would think of such a thing revolting? There's a water bubbler. I stop to have a slurp. Birds drink from the bird bath. Till they hear a chirp. Where does someone your age get these disgusting ideas? This is your last chance. A very bossy magpie dies and loops the loop. I duck at my head, it, but it takes aim. Look out, it's going to swoop. You should be locked up in a place for potty mouth people. Oh, an old man and his dog walk by, blocking the best shortcut. The man bends down to pat his mate. What a hairy mutt. Oh no, you cannot say that. The correct name for that body part is Glutus Maximus. He gives his dog a biscuit and they set off at a trot. At true, the old man sneezes and the dog slurps up the lot. This is your last warning. One more rude rhyme and you're out. 
Getting close to home now, sneaking past the zoo, something sticky's under her foot. Goodness, smelly shoe! Get out, scram, Mamush, I'll finish this myself. Hurry down on our driveway, cause from the very start, since way back at the toy shop, I've been holding in a fart. Well, you started it.